Hi, it's Adrian, and I just got back from getting my hair cut, and we went over to TIGI's, and that's a hair cutting academy over uh, near to where I live. My mom held my hand because sometimes getting my uh, hair cut is scary, but um, yeah, we both got a haircut, and I think it turned out pretty fun, and so I wanted to go ahead and get a video of it before I mess with it and uh, do it my way, and instead they did it curly their way, and so, um, yeah, I think it turned out fun, and so I'm looking forward to actually playing with it and seeing what I can get it to do as well, so, um, yeah, that's the way that the hair turned out, and I think it turned out kind of fun. And I'm uh, really enjoying having some length to it now. And I think we'll go ahead and get started with what I have on here. Uh, with the regular the Glow Oil by Supergoop SPF 50 is what I started with. Uh, what I am trying, new um, foundation. This is a Revolution Skin Silk. I have mine in F2, so I have on a um, cool color. And it actually is kind of a pink. Yeah, I think it's a pink base on this one. But um, it actually has a lot more pigment to it than I thought that it was going to have. So that's at about one. And we'll do a little bit more. So we have about two layers on here. So there it is after it's been spread out and then this is my hand without any so it does have a lot of coverage to it and I wasn't expecting I was expecting a lot of glow and no coverage and so I'm actually liking this more than I thought that I would um, again uh, really really nice for revolution nice packaging nice formula just really thinking that it's working well for me so far. Um, I did go ahead and put the LYS concealer with it. So that's what I have on and I still have that place um, right under my nose where I have the dog scratch. So if you're noticing that, well then this is, isn't doing the job but I think this one's working pretty well. Basically it's healed up over here it just it's still red and so I'm going ahead and using the concealer to go ahead and keep the red away working real well um, as far as my bronzer the Mac again one of my favorites my favorite high-end and it's a light radiant rosy so that's what I have on for my bronzer today um, I did go ahead and use the LYS again this is their unforgettable blush and yeah so I think of Nat King Cole and Nancy Cole, or Nancy, is it Nat King Cole? And then his daughter, who, she did the same song, the Unforgettable song, and she did it singing to her dad, even though her dad had passed away. They had a video of him, and then she was singing to it. It was so, such a good video. Such a long time ago, too. I realized that it was a long time ago, but um, it was one of my favorite albums, too. Um, so uh, this Unforgettable is what I go have on as far as... Uh, and then I did go ahead and I reapplied because, like I said, I just got back from uh, TIGI. And um, so I'm going ahead and reapplying. And this is a revolution. This is their bubble balm in rose gold. And so it's actually a highlighter that comes off wet. And um, it has a lot of pearl and rose gold in it. And so, yeah, we'll go ahead and do some of that. And like I said, I just got back from the hairstylist. So I've been uh, reapplying now to get some color back in and so yeah that's what I have there as far as what I have on the lips I have the elf and it's my jam lip oil here 
And then as far as what I have on the eyes today, I do have the Odin's Eye. This is the Christmas Eve palette. This is the one that they went ahead and re-released because it had been so popular. And so they re-released it this year. I went ahead and picked it up. Um, I have this uh, right on the brow bone, and then I have this one in the crease, I have this one on the lid, then I went ahead and put this one on the lid. This is the duochrome in the bunch, and so it goes purple to blue, and that in the crease, and then I went ahead and put this. This is a really pretty shade. It has a whole bunch of um, the multi, um, or the micro glitter. So it has a whole bunch of silver micro glitter, and I put it right on the brow bone to go ahead and get some sparkle. Not that this look doesn't have enough sparkle anyway, because it does, but um, there's and there are quite a few different looks you can get out of this one. I think I tend to play over in the cool side a lot, but you have a gold look and a pink look and a green look and all sorts of fun stuff that you can do with this palette. So I would definitely go ahead and uh, recommend it. With these ones, you can get them on the Odin's Eye website. And they have a whole bunch of, uh, they just released three more. So they have six, eight, oh, tons of palettes over there. And um, let's see, what else did I do today? I'm just, keep on playing with the hair because it's so fun. And so, yeah. Um, it finally got some layers into it to the point where I think that in the morning I like to just uh, wet it down and then blow dry it really quickly. I don't, you know, uh, like the rollers and the mess and all that stuff. And so this way it has enough shape in it that I can do that and I don't have to go and get a haircut like every three weeks. So yeah, I'm thinking that this haircut, it's a little short right now, but it's going to be for getting out of the door um, in a hurry, or at least getting ready in a hurry. In a hurry. Yeah. So anyway, this is uh, the way that the look came out. This is the way that the new hair look, or the new hair is doing. So yeah. I wanted to go ahead and see. They did a couple layers in the back to make it easier for me to go ahead and get it, um, like I said, wet it down and dry it in the morning and get going. So um, I think that's probably the video. Like I said, I'm really enjoying my new hair look. And thank you, TIGI, and I will go ahead and see you later. Bye.